don't know what to do, son. You want to take off that like <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, your dad's calling. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? Chris Souders, Slunger Cat Outdoors, back with you again this morning, or this afternoon, today, this evening, whatever it is. But uh, trying this again. Uh, got a couple fish on. Got the live started back up. So let's get these fish in. If you guys are watching, uh, let me make sure that you guys can hear me and all that good stuff. I'm going to try to get things rolling back again. Um, do a search on YouTube for my channel. Let's see, if, let's see if this one's, we had, yep, here we go, we got a fish right here. Oh. Now we was dragging baits, and we had a heck of a time. Ooh, he's pulling a little drag, pulling a little drag. Now we, we decided to spot lock, mark some fish, spot locked on them. And Alan? Yes, sir. <laughs> we got a fish, <laughs> baby. We got a couple fish on. Let's see if I can move this camera around. We got a mess. <laughs> it wouldn't be no fun without a mess. Got the old warrior cats bent over pretty good. Is that one of yours, Alan? I tell you what, now this one feels pretty good. Oh, he, he slammed that sucker. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fish. Let me get the net for, for you. Oh, he pulled drag again, Alan. Look, don't worry about this one. <laughs> Here, go ahead and get that one up. You got that? Okay. Folks, we got a mess. If you're just jo uh, joining us, I want to thank you guys for coming on. We had, uh, we was out here dragging baits there earlier and uh, just uh, was having a hard time. Bites been pretty slow, but, but we finally found some fish that are willing to eat. I believe we got a decent little pig on right here now, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Alan can't get that one <laughs> grippered up. <Hey> <laughs> I don't want to use Oh. I think we got a pretty good fish on here. We're fishing some mid lake stru uh, structure. Now hold that one up for him. We got time. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> This is the kind of fish we come up here for, Alan. Pretty fish. Look at that one, folks. Hold it right there where they can see it. That's a good fish, buddy. Yeah. Good fish. Good fish. That's probably what, 18 pounds? Sorry, sir. Yeah. See something like that? Can't knock him. Heck back. no. Ease him back in the water. Oh. Oh, you got one back there. Get that other one. Get that third one. Whoo, we got a third one going. <laughs> Did it pop loose? Yeah, we had we had three on. Let's see what this sucker is right here. Kind of excited myself. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> About lost his phone. <laughs> hey, you think this is our first day out fishing? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a rough day. It's some big old bubbles. You see that swirl? Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, folks! Ah, Woo! Give me mark. some, baby! <laughs> yeah! It was a big mark. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one right there. Mike. Folks, this is a pig, baby. Oh. That's a hog. 
Whew. Let me get back here. <laughs> That's a tank right there, Jack. Whew. I let that bark look big. <laughs> it, that might not be him. It's a big one, either which way you cut it. Wow. Whew. All right. This right here, folks, is a tank. I got tank. one on right here. Oh, you got another one on? Oh! And I just took a fall. <laughs> Oh goodness. He break you off? Oh man. Alright. Folks, I tell you what, wait till you see this one. Old double hook Kentucky rig. We hung up all in this Alright. Hey, Alan, do me a favor. Yes. Make sure you can see me in the back of that okay. phone. Should be able to look right there. Can you see things? Yes, sir. You Is it all moving? You are perfect. All right. Easy, big girl. That's a stud right there, Jay. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, baby. Pretty fish. Pretty Look fish. at that. Look at that pig. Whew. I don't know what it weighs, Alan. But that right there, folks. That's a tank, that's a tank baby. <laughs> Midweek, spot locked on structure in the middle of a lake. Whew. Water temperature is 53 degrees. That's what it's all about. Alan, yes, I'm gonna let him go. Sounds good, man. Let's get some good. Get you gonna get a picture of him? Yeah. Alright. I don't know what you think he weighs. I'd say six. He's a tank, maybe. He's a tank. <laughs> <laughs> He's big. He's pretty big. Right? Oh, Come on, you a big boy. You can hold that sucker up. We've been fishing all day for that rifle. Right. Oh, there we go. Oh, all right. Back in the water. All right. You do it? Yeah. Let's get him back in the water. Around with that yeah, baby. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness! Whew, what a fish, folks! What a fish! You got one on there too? He's got one over there too. Oh my goodness! <laughs> And somehow or another, he broke his rod. Got another rod back here snagged up. <laughs> He's out over there. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> other than that, we got a few. This is on that rock. That, that's one that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he done run through everything. Oh my. <laughs> Whew. I thought we had one too other pounds that one. <laughs> so that fish that he just caught reeled in with his rod is actually hooked on that rod back there. <laughs> Another good one. Look at that one. Suck of a turning on right here yes, for a dog. Yes, sir. Look at that, baby. Awesome. Awesome. Man, we ain't been here five minutes, bro. <laughs> right, bro. 
was the right time. Didn't take, didn't take long. That was for sure. Yeah. He got around them. Shoo. All right. So, folks, I think we found where we're going to start at in the morning. <laughs> Uh, for you guys was on the live feed there a minute ago We were actually in town gonna do a uh, Do a show here tomorrow for catfish crazy and uh, Alan and I decided to come out today and do a little pre-fishing a little bit of looking around Rode the struggle bus all day on day. <laughs> yes, sir, baby. I've been driving it. Tonight. Give me some baby <laughs> Yeah and I'll be daggone what we decided we was getting ready to leave decided yep. to give one more place a chance and what we just catch three yeah nice three ones. three nice, nice ones uh one daggone 50 Ooh. plus yeah. yeah oh my goodness what do you need? so uh, give me a second here folks I'm gonna I'm gonna pull his phone up and pull up the live feed so I can see the comments and stuff and uh, I'm gonna take a breather. <clears throat> Let's see. I have no idea. <laughs> we have got, I mean, all kinds of stuff going on. <laughs> yeah. now, there ain't a whole bunch of service here either, but uh, but we'll see what we can do. Yeah, yeah, I took a fall over in the boat. <laughs> Hit some ice that's in the bottom, slime, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna see see if I can get this video pulled up. You put more baits down? No. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for the donations. That means a lot. Man, that was a fast action. <laughs> I mean, fast sun action. Wasn't yes, it? Sir. My goodness. Three wow. Ones. Anywhere you go. That's boom, three. boom, boom. So, let's uh, let's talk a little, let's break down a little bit of what, we, what we've been doing today. So, for you guys just joining in, we, uh, we come out here on the Roanoke Rapids chain of rivers. And uh, Alan Thomerson, good friend of mine, uh, done a catfish crazy show with me earlier, uh, a couple few weeks ago. He's a guide on Kerr Lake, um, home of the world record. Uh, what's the guide search name? Prime time. Prime time. Prime time. I keep it. wanting to say that what yeah. your old one was. That's right. Uh, prime time guide service. Look him up on Facebook. Uh, super good guy. He sells bait there on Kerr Lake as well. Um, <clears throat> so if you guys are in that area, you know, give him a, give him a shout. He'll definitely, definitely hook you guys up. But, uh, he helped me out a bunch today and, uh, we, uh, for a while he's helped me out cause we ain't got a boat. So come out here looking around. We nailed him, son. Yes, sir. We Fine. nailed him. Finally. Long <laughs> hog find nut. He keep looking. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Any. So we uh, come out here, dragon baits, struggled, caught a few small fish, and uh, anchored up one other place, caught some small fish, but drug down here in some deeper water, didn't get nothing, and decided to just throw some baits out and, uh, and see what happened on some structure. And man, I tell you what, it did not take long at all, and we had three good fish on and one of them was an absolute stud so you can see the slime all over me <laughs> that's good so a couple a couple of the rigs i know you guys like to see some of the rigs we use uh, oh let's see here this is here's the rig the big fish come on of course you guys know uh have seen me use it many many times but if you're if you guys First time joining the channel or watching. Uh, first off, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. 
but uh, this is the double hook Kentucky rig. We got 50 pound slime line leader down to a good barrel swivel. <clears throat> this is 80 pound slime line leader line. And these are just uh, a double hook, like a double surgeon's knot, inline knot, uh, whatever you want to call it. D85 seven knot hooks. And we just got a dragon weight on it right now because we've been dragging this all day long. And from your weight, up to the first hook we got about a foot and then about two foot in between the hooks <clears throat> so your top hooks about you know three and a half foot off bottom and I'm not sure if he come off bottom or if he come off the top oh, hook. I can't remember but let's see uh, the last one now the last if I fall out of the boat I apologize <laughs> But the last one come off of uh, just a regular, you know, dragon style, uh, Carolina style rig, I guess you would call it, Santee style. That's what I was thinking about. Same line, sinker slide, dragon weight. Got about a two and a half, three foot leader. The old Slunger Cat uh, edition Demon Dragon. And uh, got this Demon Dragon closer to the hook to kind of help get it up off the bottom as much as we can. And then, of course, D85. Now these fish were marking, heck some of them were what, 15 foot off the bottom? Which is really hard to catch, but uh, buddy, we done her. Yes sir. We done her, so there we go. Man, I want to get some more baits out there, but I'm about half scared to catch some more fish. <laughs> yeah, you need to save this sucker for the ball. So, <laughs> I'm gonna see if we got any more questions. I want to thank you guys for all the all the tips, the comments, the shares, um, all that good stuff. We're coming up in the close of uh, 2020. A few weeks, Alan, and 2020 is going to be over with. Yes, sir. It's going to be over. I'm about ready for it. I'm ready for 2020 to be over <laughs> as well. I'm excited about tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think it's going to go well. I think it's going to go well as well. So I want to thank you guys for always you know, jumping on these live feeds whenever I do them. Um, all the positivity, the well wishes, the good thoughts, prayers, um, all that stuff that you guys always send our way. The questions, uh, make sure you guys are still leaving them in the comments. I know I haven't been able to answer and interact with you guys as much as what I would like to lately, but we've been on the road a lot doing Catfish Crazy shows. So um, once things slow down a little bit, get back to normal, get back to doing the Tackle Talk Tuesdays. All that good stuff that you guys love. I may even try to get the kayak out again, um, even though it's freezing cold. I'd like to go out and catch some more channel cats. But, uh, but yeah, let's see if there's any more questions before I get off here. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the fish that we caught. It was fast action. Uh, spot locked on some structure was using our electronics to really really pinpoint those fish and it Took us a minute to really get the boat where we are setting Directly over top of those fish and pinpoint them, but man did it work? <laughs> yeah. Did it work those fish were really slow? We've been fighting that all day and we decided to make that change Alan Panned out, panned out for son. Sure. It panned out quick <laughs> yes, hard sir. Yes, and uh, we got an idea of what we need to do tomorrow That's so right. Right. so make sure you guys use your electronics go back in the videos of some of the videos that I've done and the playlists and stuff um, use that information that's what we've done today and uh, yeah it works get used to the electronics we had some questions on that earlier you know about what's better um, everybody's got their opinion but really just you know get used to what you have and and make it work for you. Um, they're all good. They all will do the job. <clears throat> so I'm excited about tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, folks, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Make sure you go over, follow um, Alan Thomerson on social media, Primetime Guide Service on social media. Uh, for those people that live around the Kerr Lake area, 
Make sure you hook, uh, look him up if you guys need bait or anything like that. Um, give him a sh huge shout out for helping us out for Catfish Crazy. Uh, giving me a you know opportunity to come out here and look around and find some fish and uh, just a good friend all together, good guy. Look him up. Give him some support. And I want to thank you guys. Till next time, God bless. Tight lines, and we will catch you guys on the water. See ya.